everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Welcome to the sand pit. Literally, we are in the bunker here on Jamira Golf Estates on the fire course today. And we've got an advanced bunker lesson for you today. So this is something we, at the Pete Cameron Golf Academy, work very closely with Pete a couple of, a few times a year. And we were in the bunker with him a couple of weeks ago, so I wanted to try and pass on some of his amazing knowledge. And it's a shot that I now use a lot. And it's the, I kind of call it the advanced bunker shot. Because we've got to make a couple of key adjustments in the setup and in the swing. And also in the mentality. It's a big psychological battle to try and hit this particular shot as well. Making sure that you fully commit to the shot you're trying to hit. Now, for this particular shot, we're trying to hit the high lob bunker shot. Flag, as you can see, if you just make it out there, it's just behind this bunker. So I've not really got the biggest lip in the world, so it's not too difficult, but I do need to stop the ball relatively, or very quickly actually, not relatively, very quickly. So a couple of key changes I'm gonna make. We often hear about the club face opening for added loft. That's absolutely correct. If you are up with your golfing knowledge, you'll know that a weak right hand grip will often open the club face as well. If, you hit, if you've got a weak right hand grip and you hit a slice with the driver, the grip's gonna have some sort of influence and in opening and hiring the loft on the face at impact. So that's something we're gonna to try to do on this bunker shot as well. So I'm gonna get, get the club face, I'm gonna open it maybe from 12 o'clock to two o'clock. I'm actually now gonna weaken my left hand. Okay, sorry, it's gonna, sorry, strengthen my left hand. And I'm also gonna weaken my right hand. So both hands are much more over the top of the, of the golf club. It's called the more of a butterfly grip. Both hands right over the top of the grip itself, okay? I've come in, the club face is now wide open. So to counteract that, as you know, we're gonna open the stance here. So the stance is gonna be aiming a good bit left of target. Club face is at the target. Now, I'm actually gonna set this up to more towards the heel of the golf club. Because as I come back down, I want to start to release the club down into the sand, but then I also need to make sure I can maintain the loft on the club face. So one of the key elements I like to look at is the club face looking back at your body. We don't want to see the club face come down and then rotate, okay? We wanna be trying to hold off this club face angle, trying to hold off the loft as much as we possibly can. So actually your wrist angle will be slightly different as to what you would do if you were hitting any other golf shot, okay? So I've got the club face wide open. I've got my stance open towards the left-hand side. I've got weak, a very, very weak grip position. And I'm actually gonna swing, although my target line is there, I'm gonna swing parallel to my feet, okay? So the club's gonna be working very much from out to in. That's why I'm setting it more off the heel to start with, because as I release this club down, it's gonna put the ball back in towards the center of the club. This is what I was talking about, psychological warfare. How many golfers want to open the blade and set it more from the heel? Absolutely none of us. So this did take me some practice to kind of get good at. No pressure. Okay, so butterfly grip, hands over the top of the club, weight slightly forward, ball position on the inside of my left foot, or maybe even more towards my left foot. I'd certainly say it's more in towards my, my toes rather than my heel, so it is quite a way forward. Weight distribution's forward. Gotta make sure I get the swing path. Club face, I'm still trying to open it as I start to swing, so we're really adding loft onto this shot. Off. Oh. Go in. <laughs> okay, nearly held it. You don't believe me because you can't see it, but it's that far away. Okay, let's see if I'm consistent. One of the one of the things there, it wasn't a huge divot, okay? So the sand divot is only maybe an inch or so deep and it's got an entrance and an exit. So I've not come into it super, super steep and like been stuck in the sand. I've still kind of got to the top of the back stream with an open face. I've rotated left. So I've used my hip turn and my shoulder turn maintain the loft on the club face and the, the ball strike mark there is up straight out of the middle of the face although i did set it from the heel i'm going to try that again i'm going to open the face feet are going to go left weight forward ball position forward right hand left hand over the grip right hand more over the grip i'm going to use the wrist angle to kind of create more loft and as i come through with my body i'm going to make sure my hands maintain the loft on the face perfect you know what? I'm actually going to take the camera and I'm going to show you exactly where they are. I'm not even going to press pause on the camera, just in case you don't believe me. But two really nice sand divots, nothing too deep, nice and shallow, good strike on the club face. 
see the right out of the middle of the club face there even though I set it more from the heel as, oh, and as we come up so guys I can definitely confirm it works it does take a bit of practice like I say it's a bit more of an advanced level bunker shot but I think if you can get it right maybe you've already got a weak grip so you're kind of halfway there well a quarter then it's a case of setting it from the heel, consist, um, being confident to swing it more from the outside along the line of your feet, but also utilizing your body. You've got to be able to rotate those hips and shoulders ahead of the club face. So it gets to the ball first before the club head does. And then we maintain the loft on the club face. So make sure that club face looks back at your body on the way through. We don't want the club face rotating and closing to the left. We want the club face maintaining its loft. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Something slightly different. You don't see these sort of tips very often on YouTube. It's like, like it's more advanced level. So go and give it a try. You might not take it to the golf course until next year, whatever, whenever it's going to be. But go and give it a try because if you're in this situation on a golf course, it can definitely save you shots. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and I will see you again very soon.